all right youtubers we're here today i got a good video for you i got a 2014 chevy cruise we did a motor swap on it we drove it in the garage after we did the motor swap it wouldn't start let me show you here come right around here Let's see. All right. So it just keeps cranking. No start. Searched YouTube, couldn't find any good videos about this. I found some good videos, but not for this particular problem. So let me show you. If you come down here to the crankshaft position sensor, right here, you unplug it. There it is. Crankshaft position sensor unplugged come back in the car now watch this oh man that's a thing of beauty I racked my brain over and over trying to figure out why this car wouldn't start after the motor swap and it was something so simple <clears throat> but we're not done yet you see the engines running it's running a little rough so we're gonna have to replace that crankshaft position sensor and let me show you where it is okay here's the old engine there's the crankshaft position sensor behind the flywheel flywheel bolts here sits behind it but there is an access point ah look at that beautiful so we're gonna have to go back in there take the starter out starter bolts here take it out and look we can get right to that sensor we're gonna replace that sensor we'll put the old one back on it we got a used motor here and I left that on there not thinking about it and came back to bite me in the butt. But, so look, when that crankshaft position sensor isn't reading correctly, look, the stability track lights on now and service traction control, service stability track. See, all the lights come on. So, let me show you, take you inside the garage here. I'll show you that sensor. Ah, oh, this is a beauty right here. We're doing that. All right, there's the Bobcat, big boy. All right, that sensor's right here. <clears throat> this is the sensor. And you see, it's not nothing to it really. Just taking the starter out, fin your fingers back there to get that little small bolt out. Right there shouldn't be a problem so we're gonna crawl under there replace the crankshaft position sensor and you can see the cars running and the sensors unplugged so we're gonna get busy on that but if you guys got a car 2014 Chevy Cruze maybe other years on this and you're having a no start issue or you're having a stability track issue I would recommend tracing down that crankshaft position sensor and doing some investigating on it I've seen a lot of forums where people were having issues with the stability track and other issues related to the cruises um, there's and I, ne I never see anybody talking about the crankshaft position sensor not at all not one person in any videos I might have missed it I can't search every YouTube video but just to let you guys know it's right here don't forget that and you can sneak in right there and pull that out after you take the starter out so look guys if you're having a problem watch my video I hope this helped you if it did like the button like the video subscribe because we're about to start investigating a whole lot of stuff around there <laughs> 